Hello everybody and welcome to Hit360 number 9. I can't believe that we have been online for 9 weeks now. Pretty amazing. So today we have a workout that is 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We have seven different exercises we're going to be working through. One of them we're repeating on one side and then the other to equal eight rounds. Okay. After our eight rounds, we're only going to have another 20 seconds break before we repeat it all again. And we're going to be doing it four times through. Okay. So it's going to equal a 32 minute session. So to start, like we always do, we're going to be going through each exercise individually. I'm going to be showing you the scaling options. We're going to be moving through some big ranges here. And the tempo is going to be a lot slower than in our working set, okay? Because we are a little bit cooler. So use it as your warm up. Take the time. Do the scaling option, whether you're going to be doing it in the second half or not. It's a good way to get warm. Okay, so we're going to start with the first exercise, which is a squat centering jump with a single leg kick and a jumping jack, okay? So there's four different components to this exercise. Just remember you're always returning back to your squat. So the non-plyometric option, which is also the scaling option today, is just taking the jump out of each exercise. Okay, so the squat that I'm gonna be doing, and this is individual to everyone, if you wanna go with a little bit of a wider stance, a more traditional, uh, conventional squat stance, that's fine. I'm gonna go with a little bit of a narrower stance today, going to get into my quads a little bit more something that i'm trying to focus on okay so the exercise option is a squat and then you're kicking reaching the opposite hand to leg coming back to the center other side and then you can just step or like a little jump and then bring it back in if you really don't want to jump that one you can just step one leg out other leg out okay so i'll show you with the step otherwise your option is just a little jump and then step it back in for the squat Okay, so I'm gonna do five reps now with the non-plyometric option, doing it with me. So coming down into a squat, reach, squat, reach, squat, tap, and tap. Back to the kick, kick, tap, tap. That's two reps. Explosive as you come up. That's three. Arms can do whatever. And last rep. Okay, so that's the option for the non-plyometric. Your other option with the jump, you're coming into a squat to start and you're jumping up, back to the squat. Up, out, and back. So it doesn't matter how low your squat is, but you are trying to get your hips below your knees, okay? Or in line with, okay? Take a deep breath. It's amazing how quickly you do get warm. Okay, second exercise is a plank jump. There's gonna be three options for this one today because I do wanna give you a more advanced option if you're feeling up to it. Okay, so the first option, coming down onto the floor, you can be on your elbows or your hands and you can just work with a tap out, in, out, in. Okay, so we're keeping our shoulders over our hands, pushing the floor away from you. Big breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Keeping both hip bones pointing down towards the floor. Okay, that's your first non-plyometric option. Second option is to do the jumping with the legs. Okay, so jumping out and in. So this is the exercise we have been working on over the last couple of weeks. If you're just new to HIT 360 or any HIT training in general, I wouldn't go any further than this one today just because the other one is quite an advanced movement, okay? So the last option, we're gonna be adding an arm reach every time your legs jump out to the lateral position, out to the side, okay? Be mindful, this is a lot of stability. It's asking a lot on your stability through your wrists, your shoulders, keeping your hips nice and square, okay? So your option from here is as we jump, you reach one arm and place it back in when the hands come back in. Okay, it is quite advanced. So I want you to just play around with the 
first and second option if you're relatively new. Okay, if you're going to try the, if you're a little bit more advanced and you want to try the more advanced option, give it a go now. I'm going to show you just from another angle here. I'm going to go back to the very first option, the scaling with just the taps. Okay, so let's spend, say, like 10 seconds now going over that. Getting ready. Let's do it. Okay, that was the first option. And just a quick refresh, second option was jumping. Okay, moving on from that one. Next exercise is a three high knee run with a pause. So our options up until this point for the high knees without the plyometrics is just the knee drive. Okay, today it's gonna be the same that we go three, two, one then add a little bend, okay? Three, two, one, bend. So I'll show you the plyometric and I'll go back to that first option. So to start, I like to pull one knee up and then we go from here, three counts and hold. So three, two, hold, three, two, hold. Drive the knee up and stick your landing each time. Pull the knee as high as you can to your chest, okay? So if you are doing that one, go practice that now. Otherwise, we're going back to the first option, pulling one knee up, and it's three, two, one, little bend. Three, two, one, little bend. Okay, try and have your feet landing in the same position each time. We're about hip distance apart there. Okay, and that's just that exercise. Three high knees, get a little pause, stick your landing, and then drive it back up again opposite leg. Okay, next exercise we have is a centering jump lunge. So it's not continuous changing each time. I found people have liked these a lot more than traditional uh, jumping lunges where you keep changing. Maybe it's the control, maybe it's the routine of coming back to the center. It's easier to, to maintain a square feet. For whatever reason, I'm glad you're all enjoying this one better than the normal jumping lunges. Okay, so the first option, non-plyometric, is just a step back lunge and then coming back up. Controlling as you come back down, trying not to have too much force going down into that knee on the back leg. Keeping our shoulders down away from our ears. Okay, that is your first option. Second option is a center jump and then we jump out into a jump lunge and you just keep repeating that. Okay, arms can do whatever they feel natural doing. So center and jump, center. Okay, you still want them to be nice and explosive. Imagine as soon as you touch the floor, you're rebounding straight back up. Okay, next option, we're gonna be going into a lateral burpee, okay? This is a lot more load on your wrists and shoulders than a normal burpee is. So your option, if you are gonna be doing the plyometric, it's just a traditional burpee, okay? We'll go over that in a second. Those of you who aren't gonna be jumping, it's just the same thing uh, that we've been doing for the normal burpee, okay? So we're gonna bend our knees, hands come down to the floor, and we step back, back, in, in, drive it up. Back, back, in, in, drive. Keeping our feet in that square alignment the whole time. You can swap what leg you step back each time. And make sure you get a fraction of a second there in your plank position before you start stepping the other leg back in. And up. Okay, a traditional burpee, if you're gonna be going through the plyometric, is just straight down, straight up, and clapping. Okay, keep your core as engaged as you can, nice and tight there, protecting your lower back. Now, our lateral burpee, I really like these. So we're gonna be taking, we're dropping down into the legs, we take the arms out to the side and we place the hands on the floor and we jump over to meet where the hands are. Coming back up. Okay, these are great drills. Ones like uh, the lateral hops there and little bunny hops for hand stand strength too, actually. So little tip for you all. Okay. Second last exercise is a side plank with our knee drawing towards our elbow. Two options with this one. You can either be on your hand or your elbow for the full range. 
If you're not gonna be doing a side plank, if it's too much load on your wrists or your shoulders, your option is just gonna be a Russian twist, okay? Now this is the one that we're gonna re be repeating one side and then the other. So you could just do two lots of the Russian twist, okay? So Russian twist is you're starting up nice and tall. We're gonna roll off the tailbone, rolling down towards the spine, rib cage towards your hips, and we're just twisting from one side to the other. Twist, twist, okay? Your shoulders are twisting too. You're drawing your rib cage down towards your hips and your feet are staying nice and square. If you wanna progress with the Russian twist, you could lift the feet up. You just wanna make sure that your legs don't go swinging from one side to the other. It's still just your upper body moving, okay? So, side plank option. I'm gonna do it on my hand today. I would recommend, if you haven't done much of this though, to do it on your elbow, okay? And we're gonna stack the hand under the shoulder or your elbow right under your shoulder. And we're gonna come up onto the side of your foot here, taking the arm all the way overhead and we're gonna pull the knee in towards your elbow, drawing it in and then control back away. I like to add a little bend with my upper, my upper back in towards the knee and then extend back away. I feel like I get a lot more out of it. If you'd prefer just to stay fixed and just move the arm and leg, you're more than welcome to do that too. Okay, and then we're gonna flip over and do that on the other side. And now our last exercise is another ab exercise and it's gonna be a tuck to extend, okay? So the first option, is just to not extend your legs as far. Only extend your legs, and this is for everybody. Please only extend your legs as far as you can maintain your imprinted spine. So that means when your lower back is flat on the floor, okay, it takes the load out of your lower back, keeps the tension and the load in your abs, which is what we're trying to focus on today for this exercise, okay? So we're gonna start laying flat on your back. Hands can either be behind your head or on the floor. Okay, and now we're just gonna lift both legs up, tuck, lifting the tailbone, and then roll down, extending away. Okay, so your option would be to keep the legs bent, and then just tap the feet down, and then come back. Okay. Let's do it, I'm ready. Three, two, one, squat with single leg kick and jumping jack.
three, two, one, 20 second break. Three, two, one, center jump lunges. Three, two, one, 20 second break. Three, two, one, lateral burpees. second break. Three, two, one, side plank, knee to elbow. Three, two, one, 20 second break. Three, two, one, side plank, knee to elbow. Three, two, one, 20 second break. Three, two, one, tuck to extend.
three, two, one, 20 second break. Three, two, one, side plank, knee to elbow. Three, two, one, twenty second break. Three, two, one, side plank, knee to elbow. Three, two, one, tuck to extend. Three, two, one, plank jumps. 
Three, two, one, high knees with a pause. Three, two, one, center jump lunges. Three, two, one, lateral burpees. Three, two, one, side plank, knee to elbow. Three, two, one, side plank, knee to elbow.
two, one, 20 second break. Three, two, one, tuck to extend. Two, one, 20 second break. Three, two, one, squat with single leg kick and jumping jack. Three, two, one, 20 second break. Three, two, one, plank jumps. Three, two, one, high knees with a pause. Three, two, one, 20 second break. Three, two, one, center jump lunges.
two, one, 20 second break. Three, two, one, lateral burpees. Three, two, one, 20 second break. Three, two, one, side plank, knee to elbow. Three, two, one, 20 second break. Three, two, one, side plank, knee to elbow. Three, two, one, 20 second break. Three, two, one, tuck to extend. Three, two, one, 20 second break. <laughs> 